Hey guys, Tim McCamus. I wanted to take a minute this evening to talk to you about uh, wing, spoiler, deck lid area on these cars. We get the question quite often about uh, specs on the wing. Uh, what what should I use? What How big should it be? What should I have for a wicker bill, spill plate? Uh, so I've got this car going in the shop here and I just want to touch on a few things. Uh, just a real quick little intro. This is the deck of the wing. This piece here is the wicker bill and it's removable. And then the spill plates are on the sides of the wing. So these pieces are the spill plates. So you've got uh, three different components here that comprise the um, surface area and the sides of the wing. So the, the wing is obviously used to provide extra down pressure, down force on the back of the car to help it handle better at speed. And uh, the question comes up all the time is how, how tall do I need to make the wicker bill? How big do I need to make the spill plates? Um, how long does the wing need to be? Well, the, the width on the wing is always set by the body, but the length is set from the back of the deck lid to the um, wicker bill. This particular car has an 18 inch wing on it. So this is an 18 inch deck. Um, we have these in 18, 20, 22. They're longer for more downforce, obviously. So we found that an 18 is really a pretty good number for the cars that we build. Even the, the fastest door cars out there, the NHRA Pro Stock cars, and anything that, you know, 250, 260, 270 mile an hour, we are running a 18 to 20 inch deck on that. So the question then arises, okay, well, what, what do I need to do for the spill plates and the um, wicker? Well, that's really gonna kind of be based on where you run the car and how fast you want it to go. Obviously, the more of this you can leave off, the faster the car's gonna go, because all this is just drag, but it provides more downforce. So the, the more height you stack up here and the more you box this in, the more drag that you're gonna have on the car, so the, the more power it's gonna take to push it down the racetrack. So um, to give you an example, on a, on a NHRA Pro Mod car, the tracks are prepped very well, and they, they're usually on nice, uh, fairly smooth facilities, okay? So we find that we can run um, an 18-inch deck spoiler on almost every car with no wicker bill. We won't run any wicker bill on it because we just don't need that downforce. The track is smooth, and, and you, they have plenty of bite all the way down to the finish line. So we can run those cars with, with zero. We can take the wicker bill completely off of them, and they'll handle just fine. Now, obviously, you know, the, the less wicker bill, the, the looser the car can be on the top end. So it really is your comfort level on what, how, where you want to run the car. And you should incrementally step back to this. You shouldn't just go out there and go, okay, I'm going to take my two inch tall wicker bill off and run zero. Um, you want to take some steps back to that and see how the car handles. So if you're on a well prep track, you've got good bite, the track's glued all the way past the finish line and you know that you can get by with less, you can start stepping that down and, and relieving this box of air that's trapped back here. Same way with the spill plates, you can see a lot of times on um, maybe like a Pro Extreme car or something like that that's gonna be running really fast in the eighth mile, a lot of power, needs, needs can stand the downforce. They'll have a lot taller wicker bill and they'll have taller spill plates on it. That's gonna trap more air, push the car down in the back and give them more bite down track so they can apply more power to it. So less drag back here, faster the car goes, more drag, more power it takes to get it to go fast. So these numbers here are good, uh, like um, just for example, you know, three quarters to an inch is a lot of wicker bill. I mean, that's a, that's a lot of edge back here to push down on the back of the car with. So this, this one is three quarters. And we'll start with this, but it'll probably end up uh, coming off and maybe going down to a quarter inch or a half inch. So this one is three quarter and that's measured from the top of the deck to the top edge of this uh, wicker. And this is just taped up yellow because it's a carbon piece. So you can see how the the uh, spill plates here are come up about uh, an inch and three quarters past the edge of this deck. So we want the air to come off the deck lid here and flow down and kind of be trapped in here so that we get this in this area to push down on the back of the car. So as we want that air to spill over the back, then we can reduce this height on this lip. So 
there isn't a set number for every car in every location. It's really the shape of the body that has a lot to do with it, how the air flows over the back of the car and gets to this area. Um, one real easy trick is uh, uh, you can just take your car and dust the back of it with uh, some baby powder or some talcum powder. You can put it on the deck lid in the, in the wing area and just lightly dust it on there. And after you run the car, you can see how much of that has moved around. It'll stick there. It won't, it won't completely blow off on the run. So you can see air voids and how much air is being trapped back here to give you an idea of how much surface area you have to deal with because the, based on the back of the shape of the rear window area and the deck lid, you could be getting air spill over the side of the car. It all might be pooling in the center. So if you ever need to know that information, just give it a little sprinkle on the back there and then look at the, the pattern when you get back of how the air is moving over the back of the car. So it's all based on how fast you want to go, how good a racetrack you're on, how much bite you've got at the finish line. You know, you may go to a track that's got a lot of bite on the starting line, but down track, it's just not prepped very well. It's just not, they didn't glue it all the way to the finish line or it doesn't have, it's got real porous, um, uh, asphalt or the concrete's rough or the track's rough. The rougher the track, the more downforce you're going to need. So you, to run the car loose, you've got to have a smooth track with a lot of bite all the way to the finish line. So it really depends on what you've got under the hood and what kind of racetracks you're running on as to what you can do with these dimensions. So um, it's not uncommon for us to have uh, two or three different height wicker bills to go out with each car and the customer can then tune that to get the optimal performance out of it. So that's just, uh, that's a little quick rundown on the wing and deck area and how we tune the car with those pieces.